Many watches are nicknamed after their famous wearers, but not the Hanhard 417ES. Famously worn by Mr. Steve McQueen, its relatively unknown status and small production numbers make it a real collector's item. Hanhard picked up on this several years ago, re-releasing the 417ES in a 42mm case and are now following up with the 417ES 1954. It's a true return to form, with sizing akin to that of the original, complete with some improvements. Dial side, there was little to improve. The two sub-dials no longer cut into any numerals nor the mini track, all with beautifully crisp printing. The Open 6 is a great show of attention to detail, which spices up the vintage vibes so nicely. This is shown further with the curved tips of the minute and chronograph second hand, completing a well-proportioned syringe handset. With a 39mm diameter and 45.7mm lug to lug, it wears nicely on my 6.1 inch wrist. Being a mechanical chronograph, however, it does wear fairly tall, measuring in at 13.5mm, though it's certainly better than I anticipated. There's a lovely brush finish on the mid-case, with highly polished finishing on the bezel, which has the signature red pip. The case construction is an interesting one, with the case back accounting for 4mm of thickness and interrupting the brush finish with its highly polished flanks. Much like the one sported by the King of Cool, the 417ES 1954 comes complete with a calfskin bun strap. Its Alcantara backing made it one of the more comfortable straps I've ever worn, though it increased the height of the combination to 15.4mm. Unlike the original, which featured an in-house Hanhard Caliber 42 with a flyback function, the modern reiteration chooses a Sleater SW510. It does retain the manual winding of the 1950s model, offering 58 hours of power reserve. Furthermore, Hanhard regulates their movements in-house to tolerances of 0 to plus 8 seconds per day. The Hanhard 417ES 1954 is a regular production model, priced at 1980 euros. Let us know what you think about it in the comments and like and subscribe.